Welcome to one and all. Yes, why, 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 sad news, sad news. A fuel tanker has exploded in Haiti. Very sad, very sad. I'm going to read this article which I've found online. Um, okay, all right. At least 50 people have been killed after a fuel tanker exploded in northern Haiti, officials say. Reports say the vehicle was involved in an accident in the city of Cap and the victims had been trying to gather leaking fuel when it ignited Local hospitals have been overwhelmed by those injured in the blast. Maybe hundreds of people injured in a... Okay, Prime Minister Errol Henry said the entire Caribbean nation was grieving after the accident. As he declared three days of mourning. I learned with disillusion... An emotion, the sad news of the explosion last night in Cap, he wrote on Twitter on Tuesday. Pictures posted on social media show an intense blaze at the scene of the accident in Haiti's second largest city. One witness described the blast site as Ella. Why? Very, very sad. Dozens of people were injured in the explosion and local medics said they feared the death toll would rise. Mm, I'm not really surprised because they're saying at the present, you know, there's 50 people dead. But, you know, that could rise to 60, 70, 100. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, let me continue. We don't have the ability to treat the number of seriously burnt people. N people, a nurse at the Justine University Hospital hospital told AFP news agency, "I'm afraid we won't be available to save them all." Why? It's just not possible, you know. Cause maybe they don't have enough doctors, and they don't have enough. Nurses, we are overwhelmed, a local doctor told the 80s newspaper. Oh, all I can say is um, very sad to read, you know, you know, or to hear the news of this fuel tanker explosion in Haiti. I don't know, you know, if... Haiti seem to, people of Haiti seem to, you know, get a lot of bad luck. Not saying they don't get good luck as well. Um, All I can say is, um, I don't even know what to say. All I can say is, you know, condolence, you know, to the family. Because I can't imagine how the family feel who, who are alive. And I can't. I just can't, um, I can't, I, w I, w I won't be able to fully understand, you know, because I've never been in anything like this before. And, um, you know, those those people as well who have been injured, you know, some people who have been injured are going to be scarred physically and mentally. So all I can say is my condolence to to, to, to those who have lost their life. And, um, you know, the family who are alive, who's going to have to pick up the pieces and find money to bury their loved ones. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I am out of here.